Cooper Marcher here. Former child prodigy Ruth Slenchinska, Sench that's it, is to release a new album at the age of 97 after signing a deal with Decca record label. The pianist, who gave her first recital at age four, recorded My Life in Music last year, featuring music by Rachmaninoff and Chopin. She called the project unbelievable, adding, whoever heard of a pianist my age making another album? <laughs> she turned 97 on January 15th, and her album is due on March 18th. She has been performing since the 1920s, when she was heralded as one of the greatest child prodigies since Mozart. Her concerts were an electrifying experience, wrote the New York Times, after one early concert. She made her debut in Berlin at age six and in Paris at age seven, and is considered to be Rachmaninoff's last living pupil, often wearing a Fabergé egg necklace that he gave to her. She had other legendary teachers as well, and she also played a four-handed Mozart duet with President Harry S. Truman, performed at President John F. Kennedy's inauguration, and was recognized by President Ronald Reagan as the first American woman to celebrate a 50-year concert career. Born in Sacramento, California, her father, Joseph, was a well-known violinist and head of the Warsaw Conservatory before being wounded during World War I. He resolved to raise a successful musician and deemed his daughter a potential pianist or violinist within hours of her birth. By the age of three, she was burst in, versed in basic musical theory and harmony. But the punishing schedule of touring and practicing imposed by her father caused her great emotional stress. And by the age of 15, she withdrew from performing. In her auto 1957 autobiography, Forbidden Childhood, she revealed just how strict her father's regime had been. The reason that people were startled at what I could do at the piano was quite simple, she wrote. Father was making me practice nine hours a day, every single day of the week. Can you imagine that? If I showed signs of wanting to be just an ordinary little girl, like wanting to cuddle with my sister's dolls or play with the neighborhood kids, father would come down on me with his pail of ice cold water. That's all baby stuff. You're not a baby. You're a musician. Stay away from those kids and the stupid games. You've got to act like a grown up young lady. After rejecting her concert career, she cut off her father completely enrolled for a psychology degree at the University of California and eloped with a fellow student. But she never stopped playing and she re-emerged on the concert stage in 1951 with a performance at the Carmel Bach Festival. Thereafter, she toured with the Boston Pops Orchestra for four years, enjoying an onstage rivalry with conductor Arthur Fielder. She went on to record 10 sparkling LPs for Decca, showcasing her sense of drama and rhythmic control, especially when playing her specialty, the works of Chopin. In 1961, she wrote a textbook, Music at Your Fingertips, which remains in print, and later joined the South Southern Illinois University at Edwardsville, first as an artist in residence, then as a faculty member. To this day, she remains a fluid and lyrical player and during the first COVID-19 lockdown in 2020, she uploaded home recordings of Beethoven's sonatas to YouTube to celebrate his 250th anniversary. She will give a birthday recital at Lebanon Valley College in Pennsylvania on the 6th of February. The fact that she is still at the top of her game over nine decades later is extraordinary. It's very hard to think of anyone in any profession who has achieved such sustained excellence. Label director of Decca Classics, Dominic Fife added, we are privileged to have Ruth record for Decca again some 66 years since she first recorded for the label in New York. Now how's that for being an accomplished woman? <laughs> Cooper Marcher here, ciao.